Hello class, today we're going to do a tutorial on the McGraw-Hill textbook, specifically on the smart book feature of the textbook, but it's also a good overview of how to access McGraw-Hill. The first thing to remember, the only way you can access this textbook is through Clever. So you have to go to Clever. I'm going to go ahead and click on Clever right now. I also want to make sure that if you do not have a shortcut created, too clever on your desktop we're going to do that right now so this is how you would do that you would go to share over here and you're going to go to first cancel i don't want that okay we're going to go over here we're going to add to home screen so i want you to do that you're going to add that and if you haven't done that it now gives you a direct shortcut to your clever account you still might be required to log in again but hey it's an extra savings uh, to get there so next thing we're going to do we're going to click on mcgraw hill that's going to be in my homeroom but it should be also in your main portal of clever so we click on mcgraw hill it's going to take us to our textbook remember my textbook might look a slight different different uh, to you just because of the fact that it is the teacher version so you can see for instance I have a bunch of icons and you're going to have maybe two maximum I'm gonna go to my first period this is again we're gonna look at the smart book assignment that was posted now you can see that it will show anything in your calendar that's coming up in terms of being due so it's due on the 23rd of September but I'm gonna go click on assignments and you're going to see that it will also show you past assignments so we're gonna go ahead and click on smart book this is dealing with our Constitution Day assignment now I'm gonna go and open the textbook and you can see that I should say specifically I'm going to open the assignment of the textbook it's going to take us to this this portal and it's going to show you two options continue reading or you have the option of continue questions my recommendation is going to be the continue reading and the reason is because there you have the ability to do an overview of the entire lesson you cannot go to all 12 concepts all at one time and so it's not like a typical paper version of a test where it is recommended to read through all the questions um, if i click here it's going to quickly show you concepts and these concepts are going to be very important concepts because if you get them right then you've covered the concept. If you get them wrong, you'll have to do it again. Now, one of the things that the textbook publisher does show, and I'm gonna quickly go to my classroom real quick. I also made a tutorial there with some screenshots, and these are advisable to make sure you're aware of. McGraw-Hill gives some tips, and the tips include making progress by completing the concepts, and the number of questions will vary depending on your individual needs. So taking a little while on this, but let's see if I just click on first again. So trying to open this up and right over here, you can see here's my smart book tutorial with images where I will also post the video uh, that I'm making right now. Now, right over here, you can see there is our screen. There's the tips. Make progress by completing concepts. The number of questions will vary depending on your individual needs. It's okay to get questions wrong. You still earn 100% if you complete all concepts by your due date. Submit your answers by selecting your confidence level. This will not affect your grade. So it's very important. If you do 100% of your assignment, you get 100% on this assignment. And you just have to do it by the due date. So that's a very important thing is just remember you need to do it by the due date. So I'm going to go back to the reading. And this is what I want to talk about. So we have on the reading, what my recommendation is, is that you're going to preview all of the text features. That includes the images, the charts, the maps, photographs, whatever is there, I would recommend glossing over them. Okay, so we can see there's a bunch of images, and this is going to give us some familiarity with the lesson. 
and just some very good concepts that will be covered throughout our school year. This is a great infographic, and I wanna show you something that I would recommend you always do with images that you wanna analyze closer. You're going to click and hold and then drag the image and I'd recommend just putting it in another tab not on the desktop but you could do that as well and you can see from here I can zoom in very nicely and really analyze that infographic right there about the three branches now the reason I recommend that is if I do it the other way it's not quite as intuitive you are not taking advantage of your screen real estate with it and I've also heard some crashing problems uh, past with using more of that feature. So the when you go through, you're going to look at the titles, amending the Constitution, the amendment process, you're going to go through and voting rights, and just really just look, okay, this is what the lesson is about. Now, this I can scroll, scroll back and forth, and you can see I've done that, but I can also use this next concept feature, and you can see I could also go, so next, and I can go to previous. So it'll go back and forth, whatever I want to do, and it'll take me directly to the concept if I want to do it that way. You can easily, though, scroll down just by using your scrolling with your finger. Okay, we're going to now go back to the questions. From there, in the United States, the national government shares power with state governments under a system known as. Now, this is where, okay, I'm still not really sure. Maybe you didn't read it close enough. I would recommend doing a close reading of all of the highlighted sections. But you can also see it'll take you directly to the concept. Popular sovereignty. It talks about a representative government. So I can go back to the, the concept. I can go back, you know, to the reading you know through this way read about the concept and you can see the guiding question the principles of the constitution but it should take me right here that makes it clear the united states the people hold all the power so in the united states the national government shares power with state governments under a system known as so read about the concept and popular sovereignty we've got the authority of the people we've got limited government and to the questions so then from here you can actually type and we can say let's say i was going to put federalism and let's say i got it right but you can put down hey is it low or is it high you can go to the next question and then right over here you're going to read once again about the concept so it'll take you to the Constitution, and remember all of the gold, the bolded features to the questions. So I hope that gives you a good understanding of how the smart book works. Um, please make sure that you do these lessons on time because you don't have the option of doing them once the due date and that specific time. Uh, it's all, it has to be submitted by that time. Thank you again, everyone. Going back, remember the smart book. And that'll take you to that portal and to review really quickly. Just remember, do a reading and then go to the questions. And thanks again.